Hey everybody in YouTube land, it's your boy Jasper. I don't know if you've seen uh, my previous videos to this one, but I've been doing a lot of videos uh, showcasing and reviewing uh, some of my new American DJ lighting fixtures. And it got me thinking. I haven't really discussed uh, uh, how I'm going to uh, put them up on, use them in a truss, use them on a stand. Uh, T-bar, mounting, hanging, any way to, uh, any way to describe that, so I decided, uh, maybe on a cold Saturday in the month of January, what better, what better thing to do? Um, who wants to be out anyway? Uh, this is a good time to, uh, rest, relax, recoup, uh, clean your equipment, uh, do some maintenance, I, I can... I saw that uh, really good video from uh, Lin, uh, from uh, Adam at Spotlight Sound who uh, just got himself uh, some new uh, lighting stands with T-bars and the uh, crank up truss. Excellent, excellent choice. Uh, so I will uh, pause the camera and give you a little bit of a tour. Okay, take care. See you in a bit. Okay everybody, this is the first lighting stand that I bought some time ago it is a square t-bar goes up about 12 feet great for small lights I wouldn't put anything uh, big on this t-bar uh, mind you I have and on occasion I have noticed and kept my eye on it closely because when I have had uh, larger lighting fixtures uh, like a vertigo or similar type of effect I have uh, been uh, worried and kept my eye on it because it looks like it was uh, bending and uh, that's not a good thing especially when you have something uh, hanging with people around you. You don't want something like that to bend and fall and cause some harm, damage, property damage, then you're in trouble and gotta get insurance involved and yada yada yada. This in fact was a elation lighting t-bar that I purchased from an elation dealer that used to be uh, down the street from where I live. Uh, it was awesome, you know. When I wanted to, we'd just go to the, their showroom and uh, they'd showcase some of their uh, new lights. And uh, got to start thinking of uh, <laughs> what I want, what I'm gonna buy, or what I'm gonna be getting, you know. But yeah, so this is a, this is a common lighting stand that can still be this type can be purchased today. It's a great one very sturdy and like I said it's lasted for oh, over I'd say at least 15 years plus done its trick I've still used it uh, for up until December 31st uh, 2006 going into 2007 I believe for lighting uh, but then but then I decided to uh, make some changes and upgrade. Now this lighting stand is something most everyone should be familiar with. It's an American DJ. I'm pretty sure Chauvet has one and Ultimate should have one as well and many other manufacturers make a similar uh, lighting stand where you've got these pins that can act as a bit of a break when you've got when you've extended the inner tube or inner pole of the lighting stand. Nice safety feature. You'll notice that the diameter of the tubing is a little is quite a bit bigger than the last one. Here let me get that other one and I'll show you uh, the difference. There you go. Have a look at that. 
There they are. And I'll even do a better, closer comparison. Side by side, size of the pipe, and there you go. This lighting stand typically can come with either just a T-bar or two extra set of our uh, pipes that can go across to have an extra set of lights you can hang on here. This is what's most commonly out there. Hopefully everyone's using at least this. Um, the other lighting stand would be would be okay. Like make sure you keep an eye on the weight. Uh, something I plan on doing with the other lighting stand is using it exclusively for possibly just my uh, Color Splash Juniors. Just to use that as a background filler or just uh, you know something as a small small light setup. Let me get the T bar. Here we go. Hold on. And you have your knobbly bits on the back here to fasten it, secure it. There you go. It's a nice looking T bar. And again, in comparison. Here's the old one, the square tube, and the newer one and a half inch diameter round tube lighting stand T-bar. Both awesome products. Uh, just got to watch out for the weight distribution on both, especially on the smaller, smaller light stand. But you know they do the trick. Uh, they. Obviously, the smaller one is going to fold up a little better, but, uh, you know, safety, stability, and uh, with the larger diameter pipe, it's a lot easier to hide your DMX power cables and, and, and such with, uh, with Velcro or twist ties or what have you. So, there you go. Just a little... Uh, little bit of a video for you on lighting stands. As always, practice and enjoy.